This is Tom Fox. I'd like to welcome you to the newest addition to the Compliance Podcast Network, the Compliance Tip of the Day. This is the podcast where you bring you daily insights and practical advice on navigating the ever-evolving landscape of compliance requirements. Whether you're a seasoned compliance professional or just starting your journey, my aim in this podcast is to provide you with a bite-sized, actionable tip to help you stay on top of your compliance game. Join us as we explore the latest trends from the Department of Justice, share some best practices, demystify complex compliance issues to help keep your organization doing business ethically and in compliance, and at the end of the day, more profitably. Tune in daily for your dose of compliance wisdom. Let's make compliance a little less daunting, one tip at a time. Now a word from the sponsor of the Compliance Podcast Network, Ethico. In compliance, the value of anonymous reporting is undeniable. But with Ethico, anonymity doesn't mean a loss of connection. Our blinded, two-way communication fosters an environment of trust and confidentiality, encouraging open and honest dialogue. It's not just about receiving reports. It's about understanding the story behind each one, creating a culture of integrity and respect. Transform your approach to anonymous reporting with Ethico. Begin your journey at ethico.com slash CPN, where you can book a demo, access an exclusive white paper by Tom Fox titled The ROI of Compliance, and utilize our free ROI calculator. How can you use a interview process to set expectations for your organization? One of the most interesting stories around this is one I had when I interviewed Brian Ching. Brian was the uh, original general manager of the Houston Dash. That's the Houston women's professional soccer team or football team for you aficionados outside the United States. Obviously, athletic ability and talent are key components for any professional athlete. But Ching and the Dash had an additional expectation, and that expectation was that the Dash members would get out into the community and interact with fans. This is obviously past traditional metrics around soccer players, but this discussion was held uh, face-to-face in the interview process when the Dash was visiting with Uh, either team uh, members to sign or uh, draft choices. While this may not seem important for professional athletes, it was a key part of the Dash's attempt to create a great fan base in Houston, utilizing um, literally the, the players themselves to get out and meet the fans. And when you think about it, this was uh, absolutely brilliant. And I asked Brian directly, I said, well, what if you have a truly superior athlete who is just not comfortable with getting out and meeting the public and interacting, whether it be, uh, uh, you know, picking up trash, whether it be uh, building homes for Habitat for Humanity, whether it be uh, pitching swag, whatever it may be. And he said, well, that's something that we have to evaluate because that part of our culture Uh, demands that the players interact with the fans to help uh, draw fans to the stadium. And if they're not comfortable with doing that, we have to consider that in our evaluation. And it really struck me that uh, in many ways, um, that's what the culture of the Dash is. So think about how can you communicate your expectations around culture in ways that may not seem like uh, a metrics or part of your professional remit in whatever your job is, whether it's a professional soccer player or um, a compliance professional or something else. This month's sponsor of the Compliance Podcast Network, including this podcast, is Ethico. Have you ever wondered about the ROI of your compliance program or had concerns with presenting budget proposals to your CFO? Well, I partnered with Ethico to write a white paper on the ROI of compliance and how you can think through compliance as an investment strategy. Ethico has put together a ROI calculator for you. Check them out on the website. 
If you'd like to take a deeper dive into any of the topics we've touched upon on any of the compliance tips of the day, I would invite you to check out the latest addition to my seminal one volume, The Compliance Handbook. The fifth edition is out, yes, uh, published by LexisNexis and available on their website, which of course we've linked to in the show notes. The Compliance Handbook 5th edition is the most up-to-date, the most detailed, one-volume, one-author book on how to create a fully operationalized compliance program meeting literally all of the expectations of compliance programs across the globe. Check out The Compliance Handbook 5th edition.